Okay, I'm going to show you a classic CS Unplugged activity called the Magic Flip Card Trick. And what I love about this activity is there's a couple of computer science concepts that are embedded in it. One is how do two different computers know that if computer one is sending text or images or sound or whatever, that when it gets to computer two, that it actually is the right file. Nothing got corrupted, nothing happened in between. And we're going to use something called a parity check to check that. Uh, the other thing is it's going to reinforce some concepts about binary. So you just need a regular playing deck um, and you need to f determine what's going to represent your one and what's going to represent your zero, your diff two different binary states. So I usually like to have the back of the card be one and then the front of the card, regardless of what is there, is going to represent a zero. So you're going to have one student uh, randomly put out five by five grid of cards. So they can put things up or down, it doesn't really matter. You know, they want to do a different variety of things. Okay, so once they've set out this five by five grid, you're gonna say, oh, this is too easy. I need to make it a little bit harder. And this is where you're gonna add a parity check. So remember these uh, back of the cards represent a one. So for every row and column, we wanna make sure that our ones add up to even. So we have one, two, three. That doesn't, so we need to add a, another one there, so we get four. One, two, that's okay, so that can be our zero. One, two, three, that needs to be a one, so it adds up to an even number. One, two, three, four, five, that needs to be a one. One, two. Now, of course, when you're setting, when you're doing this, you're doing this in your head, not so the students can um, hear you the first time you do this. And the same thing with the rows. One, two, three, that needs to be down. One, two, three, four, that can be up. One, two, that can be up. One, two, three, that needs to be down. One, two, three, that needs to be down. One, two, three, that needs to be down. So this row and this column that I added is at doing what we call an even parity check. So even if computer one you know, is sending an image or text or whatever, um, it's adding this extra code on the outside so when it sends it to computer two, if something were to happen in the middle of the transition and this was no longer accurate, computer two would be able to do this parity check and be like, oh yeah, there's something wrong here. All right, so back to the card trick. You're now gonna have a student randomly turn over any card, but just one card. Um, so they can turn a what's representing a zero into a one or what's representing a one into a zero. So I'm just gonna turn this card over. Oh, by the way, your back is turned while they're doing this, so you can't see. And then you're gonna turn around and you're gonna be able to determine what card got changed. So you're first gonna go through the rows and see if there's any odd addition. So we got four there, that's okay. One, two, three, four, that's okay. One, two, three, four, that's okay. One. All right, so already you know the problem is somewhere in this row. And you're going to do the same with columns. One, two, three, four, that's okay. One, two, that's okay. One, two, three, four, that's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, so we know it's in this row. We know it's in this column. So we know that it's this card that got turned over. So that is a trick, and that's the same thing that computers do, is when they are looking at the parity and there's no longer even parity, they know that something happened with the data when it got transferred. So uh, do this trick a couple times, you know, do it as a trick, magic trick the first time, and then explain it, do it again and explain what's happening, and then, you know, pair off the students and have them try it uh, with each other. Have fun.